Alright, we're looking at a problem. Uh, the Clyde 1098 starting issue. The battery is at 11.7. Uh, although this is a new battery. Yeah. It goes up to 12 sometimes. But uh, regardless, this is what it sounds like when you're trying to start it. Well, hello everyone. Uh, today, today I'm about to install um, high cap uh, copper battery cables and leads for Ducati 1098. It's 2007. Uh, and for you to do that, you will need a, a naked, pretty much a naked bike. So I took the left bearing, right bearing, um, the the belly, and also the small triangular looking bearing in front of the radiator um, in a nutshell uh, as you can see I, I don't have I have the battery out right now uh, so in a nutshell what we will not actually replace in 1098 but we will um, accompany the positive lead as you can see the positive lead uh, goes to the solenoid here which is located here I think I'm pronouncing it right which is uh, if you can't see it's right under uh, the battery box and then the other lead here goes to uh, fuse box here on the other side that the negative lead will also accompany that with a copper lead from high cap it also splits one of them goes to the electrical harness here and then the other negative lead is is actually the ground which is right here behind the behind the starter motor and we will also replace what's called a starter lead which goes from the solenoid under your battery box runs right under the engine above the exhaust and goes to the uh, goes to the starter motor which is on the other side which I'll show it to you later I will time uh, how fast it starts with a full battery uh, on the OEM cables and I will also record uh, hopefully the improvement uh, once I install the copper cable cables and how fast it starts with it. Alright. Okay, I have the um, OEM cables installed right on top of the uh, full charge battery. Uh, this is the control. Uh, we are at, let's see, at 12 volts. Dead. Um, that at 12 volts we'll see how uh, how fast it takes uh, for engine to start uh, with uh, without the high cap and then um, we'll go ahead and uh, time this again uh, with the high cap cables installed here we go I would say about a second or a half second maybe two at most and then I uh, will go ahead and see if it makes any difference with the high cap cables makes it any faster I mean it was fast as it begin with but uh, uh, hopefully we'll, we'll see some improvements uh, hello again so I'm looking at the left side of the uh, 2007 Ducati 1098 I have the battery removed um, what I'm going to do I'm gonna go ahead and remove the battery box so that this way I can access the solenoid and all the leads and wherever they're running from uh, or to a lot easier 
and uh, for me to do that uh, if you can see in the battery box there are three bolts large one right here one on the right side and one right behind this I think it's a heat pipe uh, and then we'll take those three one two and three and then this box should just come off uh, or at least give me slack and I think now that I'm thinking about it, there's the fourth bolt which is right here on the right side so you can point it out. Yeah, which is on the left side of the box outside just like the one on top so I'm gonna take those four bolts out right now okay um, I have the box I have the bolts taken off one two uh, three you can see sorry about the lighting and then the, the fourth actually came off right here so now this box alongside with uh, I think the regulator below and solenoid as one compart component will loosen up to the right as you can see right here you see this was right there you can move it out to right here and now you can see actually the starter lead from solenoid solenoid running behind the box to my stutter uh, to my stutter there we go okay, it's running to my stutter and I'm gonna replace that first and that's gonna be a full replacement because it's a single cable I will just re replace the OEM solenoid uh, lead and I will also, I mean I will just replace this cable all together all right this is the right side of the 2007 1098 and I'm on this side just like I said I took all the panels out I just wanted to show you where the starter lead this thing is coming behind the regulator the battery box and all the way running to sorry about the switch running to right behind the starter motor and this is I think called the starter lead and I'm replacing that with the high cap copper cable I believe these bolts right here are the metric 10 millimeter socket wrenches with, with socket wrench you can do it hey guys so now you're looking at uh, right side of the bike I mean left side of the bike I apologize again uh, behind the battery box and I have installed uh, one one lead of the uh, starter lead uh, from high cab here it is and it's running through the same path the old one did uh, behind the radiator uh, it's hard to see but they have these latches that it goes under over under over again and then the other part is still loose as you can see and I will go ahead and and install that uh, to the starter uh, from the on the right side of the bike I'm on the right side of the bike again here is the, the trailing uh, high cap copper cable starter lead and um, one thing is they also mentioned <laughs> As they also mention in their website, uh, go ahead and clean this uh, starter bolt uh, nicely. Make sure it doesn't have any residue so that uh, the, the leads won't freeze on there again. Uh, they suggest a alcohol swab, uh, but it's I guess up to you and your best expertise to clean that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just you know put this on and then bolt it on. Finally, the starter lead is also installed on the starter motor side, as you can see. Uh, let me give you guys a heads up. This plastic cover, it's a bitch and a half to uh, put it over the, uh, put it over that bolt. Uh, so you, uh, make sure you use that, the hook looking tool that they suggest on their website. And it just runs through behind the regulator um, replaces the old one um, now I'm gonna move forward with uh, repla not replacing but uh, adding the copper take uh, copper cable 
uh, for the positive side. Hey, we're, uh, we're now on the left side of the bike again looking at my battery box and positive and negative leads and also a glimpse at the solenoid. Uh, this is the newly installed starter cable, starter lead. It goes to the starter and now uh, the challenge is to replace our positive lead uh, with this nice copper cable. Now, we can't replace them as far as I can tell because this is an OEM lead and it splits into two. One goes to this fuse box and mostly back to the harness and then the other part goes to the solenoid. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna attempt to do, and I think it was also recommended, I'm gonna go ahead and install two of these together. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna try to put the coppers lead under the OEM lead and see if I can put it on top of the battery and run the other lead and make sure this copper lead is first and under the OEM lead when it comes to the solenoid. See if that works and I'll, uh, I'll take some photos and uh, more videos. Alright, here is the positive high caps copper cable installed uh, once again as a reminder in Ducati's you're supposed to keep or at least 1098 for 2007 I believe you have to keep the positive lead the OEM as well as uh, the copper one uh, here's the trick if you can see I was able to squeeze in the high cap one alongside with the OEM into the same cover so the same cap cover cap covers both bolts not exposing them too much if you can if it zooms in uh, not exposing them too much to uh, the weather and air and what I'm planning on doing is that I will have the copper cable run under before I connect them to the battery and they pretty much fit well okay we're still on the left side of the bike um, now we're looking at the negative lead the positive lead has been installed uh, now for the negative lead uh, you are supposed to keep them for sure for 1098 um, negative lead does the same thing it splits into two one is ground, the other one feeds back to the harness. Uh, what you're supposed to do, if I'm reading it correctly, you're supposed to have this under again and just uh, find the same way of the OEM ground and just following it, follow it to the back of the starter motor where it grounds right here. In, in this end, you're supposed to have the copper cable, copper cable first, and then put the OEM on top. Once again, same thing on the battery end of it, so you have uh, copper touching the battery and the bike first. Alright, then um, I'll give you guys a quick video after it's done. Alright, we're on the left side of the bike. The ground lead uh, is installed ground copper lead All right. so this is the lead that will go under the OEM battery battery lead and it runs the same course as the OEM ground lead and they both connect the same grounding position right here uh, the copper cable is below the OEM cable and I will go ahead and zip tie it and that will be the end of it I will go ahead and install the cable I mean install the battery and then give it um, a time test on how fast it starts now all right guys this is the final result as you can see I have the OEM lead on top of the copper high cap leads 
same here copper right under the first in contact with battery and then the OEM and the rest of the other stuff the the negative lead is a little bit longer than needed so you have to deal with a little bit of a slack here you just have to zip tight on the other hand the positive lead is cut to the right size and as they recommend and suggest uh, they're the way that they bend uh, the leads are uh, are specifically for the bike so everything fits well it's just a lot of squeezing and a lot of bolts you have to take off um, one suggestion I would recommend you guys use uh, latex gloves uh, so that when you are touching and dealing with leads uh, you don't bring all the dirt uh, and then the regular usual metric wrenches and torque wrenches screwdrivers and uh, allen drives let's see how um, how well it starts all right first time start after installing the high cap copper cables turning on the ignition turning on the cutoff switch battery is at 12.2 which is slightly higher 12.1 12.2 all right here we go uh, I don't know you guys but I felt that it was definitely half a second or less so um, considering the first time start which took about a second or a second and a half or maybe even two this the first try was about 300 uh, percent improvement uh, i'll keep take on taking on videos uh, of the startup and um yeah let me know if you have any questions test number two um day this is the third day um, that the bike has been sitting 12 volts Engine cutoff switch, ignition is on, copper cables installed, here we go. <laughs> 